Hey guys, and welcome back to another magical shit video. Um, today we are painting the mandrake, and obviously I decided that it would not be a magical shit zine if we did not have a mandrake in it. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I sat probably four, about four or five hours <laughs> thinking about what to talk about during this video. My brain just feels kind of empty, like a good empty, but empty. Like I'm not sure what I should be talking about in these videos. And I was hoping you guys could help me out with that and leave me some topic comments in the comment section if you wouldn't mind because my brain is seriously empty. <laughs> Pardon the background for the first part of this video. Um, I tried to use my Daler and Rowney um, easel because I've been having a lot of back problems and in all actuality, like I just didn't really like how it looked on camera and it kind of blocked my iPad, which I use for reference and to watch videos and stuff while I'm painting. So I ended up switching back to my normal background. Um, just for, you know, quality of video sake. I am, though, happy re to report that we are so close to the halfway point of this scene, which is very um, motivating to keep finishing it. Which brings me to my next point, and I just want to thank you guys so much for your kind comments here on YouTube and also on Instagram. Seeing other people be excited about the zine as much as I am is really encouraging and really motivating for me to continue on with the project. I mean, it, it's one of those things to where like it's basically a passion, a passion project now and it's one of those things that just I have to complete before I move on to anything else. So um, to my normal viewers, I'm really sorry if the magical z shit zine is just not your your flavor right now, but it's just, it's one of those things that I just have to finish and I have to get done just so I can say that I did it and I completed it. I recently was actually having trouble getting motivated to do this spread and so what I did was I pulled all the pieces that I had finished already and I put them together and they just, they looked so cohesive, so well planned and I mean, I just, for me not to finish this project, I feel like would be an injustice to myself and just, I mean, to you guys, I mean, like I always wanted to be some kind of role model of sorts or inspire you to create things and finish the projects that you love. And for me to not finish this at this point just seems silly. Unfortunately, it turned into <laughs> a year-long thing. It was beyond my control, but I am really, really excited to get this done. I'm really excited to see it in print. I'm excited to do the limited edition things and the giveaway like I had planned. Um, unfortunately, it's basically like a year later. Um, but as long as I finish it and I get to do the giveaway, and I have a finished product that I'm proud of, I think we can call it a win. So anyway, here are some close-ups of the Mandrake spread. I think it's a great addition to the zine and I hope you do as well. I would really love it if you'd leave me some topic comments or questions or anything you guys want to know about this process and what I'm doing. It would be a big help and that way I'm a little more organized for the voiceover and I'm not struggling and waiting four hours to record and upload and things like that. Um, so that brings me to don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section to be entered in the giveaway. There will be three winners and it is open worldwide. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.